welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am said psychic, said medium. Not, not going to push it, said Tony Green. Pushed it. Couldn't help it. Okay, hey, everybody. Hope everything is going amazing for you today. So, oh my goodness gracious. We're going to get started with the show. And um, hopefully it will be everything you had hoped it would be and then some. <laughs> oh, okay, so I want to say hi to everybody in the chat. Hey, Rebecca, Sal, Amy, Caroline, Kim, and another Amy. There's two Amys in the chat today. Just scrolling back. Oh, Anne. Hey, Anne. I want to make sure. I, I always try to make sure I don't forget anybody. Um, if I do, I apologize. And then, hi, Maris. I'm just going to say your name is Maris, 005, because, because she is 005. Okay. So here we go. Um, every Monday and Wednesday, I go live at noon central and bring you a show where I answer your questions about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all that you want to talk about or help you connect with loved ones on the other side. Um, if you want to connect with loved ones on the other side, all I need is a name your loved one's name and their relationship to you. And then if there are any questions or closure or anything you want from your loved one, I'm happy to do that. Um, and what else? What else? Oh, I have a specific question. It's always easier with a very specific question. And uh, maybe it's not your job to make my job easy, but it if you want a very specific, good answer, have a specific question. If you, you know, it, it just works better that way. Okay. 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 Now, um, I'm going to go into a few of my notes that I had for Monday's show, and I did not even get to, oh, I tried to get to it at the end of the show, and then, like, I had 10 seconds left, and I had to, like, just end the show so abruptly, and I apologize. Okay, if you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. That's it. 845-277-9131. You can call in, ask a question, connect with a loved one. If you'd like to chat in the chat, let's chat in the chat. Hey, Mimi, how are you? Um, so at the end of the last show that I did on Monday, there were a few things I talked about. I don't remember where I put everything, but I still have my notes and I'm going to um, try to go with them. Now, I did talk about somebody who was a, a, a so-called influencer on social media making videos about high value people or not high value people. And I just gave my opinion that we are all of the highest value. If you want to go back to Monday's show and listen to that, good idea. Um, but to, I think towards the end of the show, I was talking about in relationships and somebody did ask me to expand on this. And so I said, absolutely. So in relationships, we sometimes, um, there's so much to say about relationships and there are millions of people out there saying it. Um, but uh, just a few things that have been downloaded to me as far as relationships that I can share on the show that will hopefully, hopefully help somebody. Um, I started talking last week, I think, about uh, being uh, ready, being wife material or husband material and being ready to be that wife or husband. Um, and again, you can go back to that show and listen to that. And that was on Monday. And uh, one thing I want to say about that, and this is this hopefully is going to be a light bulb moment for some people. When we are dating, um, we are ready at different points for relationships. So typically, not everybody, but typically um, men are ready for a relationship when they are financially there. Like when they feel financially stable, they're ready for that relationship where they 
when they are where they want to be. Typically, that's when a man will start a relationship. Typically, not every man and not in every situation. Women start relationships when they feel ready to a family. And that's more emotional. And they're ready to give that love to the husband and take care of home and da 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 da. So right there we have a, a thing. So here's the part we don't look at. Are we ready psychologically? Are we ready on every every level? Now, right now, there are a ton of people out there that are ready to, to be in relationships physically. The you know the the you know <laughs> physical part of the relationship. So there's a bunch of humping bunnies out there, right? There's just a bunch of bunnies out there humping, boom, boom. Boom, boom, thumping and humping bunnies out there, right? And that's just where they are. That's all they feel like they are ready for, possibly. Now, once you get past that point and you're ready for more, um, and maybe the other person isn't, they just still want to be a humping, thumping bunny. And there's, yeah, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but you have to know and you have to pull away. You can't convince somebody of something they don't want to be. Okay. You just can't convince somebody to be in a place they're not ready for, they're, they don't want, that they may have never want that. that does, that's no bad on you. That's just who they are. That's where they are in their life. And that doesn't have anything to do with you. And I think that's where a lot of in relationships problems come in because we think if the other person doesn't want us or they're not ready for that relationship, it has everything to do with us. And it really doesn't. It it so doesn't. That's just about where they are in their life. Okay. That's just where they are in their life. It has absolutely nothing to do with us 90% of the time. And, and again, people start relationships and we, we have like our emotional, mental, psychological, financial, spiritual, and there's one more mental, emotional, psychological. And, and there's one more um, level that we are all on, that we each of us has, and we need to be ready on more than one of those levels, more than one of those areas to start that relationship and be successful in it and and hopefully find somebody there with it. And I'm talking really fast because I'm trying to rush through this so I can get to questions and callers. And um, so I'm sorry, I am talking so fast about that. Um, and then you want to make sure you're ready to be a wife. Are you ready to do that role? Are you ready to be a wife? Do you even know what it means to be a wife? in your mind and then in your partner's mind or, or a husband. Do you know what it means to be a husband and what does your partner think being a husband means and have that conversation? Okay. Now we're going to go to callers. If you, again, if you would like to call in 845-277-9131 is the call in number. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, um, or connect with a loved one. So everybody, there are not everybody, but a couple of people on YouTube are asking for songs. And the song that is coming to me is, um, the, the very first song that's coming to me is One More Time. And I can't get the beat of it. I really can't get the beat of any song, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's not the song one more time. It's not that song, but I'll, I'll come back to that song. But if you know it, you know it, it's meant for you. Um, the next song that I'm getting is that song. Um, uh, I'll never be, I'll never be your beast of burden. I walk for miles and my feet are hurting. Come on, baby. Um, give it to me. Am I rough enough, tough enough? to be your man. <laughs> if, if they're asking me, that's probably a solid no. <laughs> but I don't think that song is for me. So whoever that's for, answer that question. <laughs> okay. Um, next, the next song is... Um, uh, that song, it's, it's a really love, love, lovey song. When I look into your eyes, 
please don't make me sing more. <laughs> oh, that that song. And I think we all know what that song is. And y you guys, the reason I laugh when I'm singing is because I know it's horrendous. I just, I know it is, but it's the way it comes through me. And I just, it is what it is. Okay. It's like watching the gong show back in the day. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and the names I'm hearing are um there it's three three names in a row, but they it could be the same person, but I'm gonna say it could be three different people. Maria, Mary, Mary, Maria, Mary, or Mary Anna, Mary something. You know how that the the good I'm hearing the good Catholic girls had like Mary. Beth or Mary Anna or Mary blah, blah, blah. Um, it's like that. Okay. Uh, that's the, the name. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I'm hearing is um, the next name uh, I'm hearing is Bob or Bobby. Um, Bob or Bobby. And the, the formal name may have been Robert, but Bob or Bobby. Um, and then, um, and again, Dick Richard, which we know that if you're American and your name was Richard, they may have called you Dick for some reason. Um, it's just, it's just a thing they did here. I know. Um, so those are the names I'm hearing so far. And Su Suzanne or Susanna. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to ask you to hold off here and I'm going to start taking callers. Again, if you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Um, I'm going to real quick say hello to everybody online again um, because so many, oh my goodness, so many people are here. Thank you so much. I'm going back for a second. Mimi, hey Mimi, how are you? Um, Heather's here. Cindy's here, Modi is here, um, Kavita's here, Frankie's here with us, um, Sally, hey Sally, welcome to the show. Um, so the way it works with the readings um, for the show, I'm going to say it again really quick. If you call in the number, you can ask a specific question or connect with a loved one on the other side. If you're in the chat, you can ask a question in the chat, a specific question or a, um, a connection, and I'll do my best to get that to you, okay? Um, and uh, the energy sometimes feels like it comes through more in the phone because I can talk a little bit more and interact with your personal energy. But if the way you have to interact um, is uh, through, through chat, I completely understand um, because some people are in other countries and they can't call into the show. And I get that. And I try to respect both. I try also to go back and forth. I'm going to start with the call. Um, 908, 908, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hi. Good afternoon. This is Caroline. How are you, Tony? Caroline, I'm so good. How are you? <laughs> I am so wonderful and at peace and, you know, just moving on with life and with the journey. Yeah. And uh, this is so amazing. I got the goosebumps. You said the name Mary. Well, how about Marie? You said the name Richard. Mary and Richie or Richard. Yes. Um, Mary is no longer with us. She's in heaven. But Richard is very elderly. And he's my uh, landlord. Oh, and my goodness. My question. Yes. This is too amazing. <laughs> because I I was going to ask the same question, but I was going to ask my mom to come through. And then they said, Mary and Richard said, there's no coincidence. So my question is for Marie, uh, what is going on? Uh, is Richard selling the house? Because... All the kids are here, one of them is from Florida, and some friends, and they're doing stuff in the house. And I feel 
that he's about to sneak up on me. Okay, so with something. Okay, so I feel like you might be right, love. And I know that you are very fearful of this, um, what's coming in or what might be coming in. And I understand why. So what I'm getting is something they're finally realizing there's a couple different steps that are going to take place here. And the first thing is I think they're finally realizing there might be something with this health and they're also realizing they yeah. are going to try to take care of things in the house and get it ready and or at least clean it up. And they're they're trying to assess yeah. assess him and his health now. OK, so they're trying to assess where he is. They're looking at the house. They're trying to get it cleaned up because I, I'm just getting a vision that the house um, it has a lot that needs to be done in it, with it, to it. Yes. I do feel like you have yes. a little bit of time, but I also feel like you should be looking just to know that there is something else out there. Now, I do feel like my beautiful, beautiful friend, I do feel like there may be some relocating coming in for you. Good. Now, I'm going yeah. to tell you this. The relocation may be to a completely different area. And now, if you are open to another yes, I am. state yes, I am. or even another... As long as, as long as it's safe, as long as it's safe, yeah. it's safe town, I'm in it. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Um, I do feel like there is opportunity for you abroad and locally, depending on what you're most comfortable uh, with. Oh, my. Oh my gosh, I've been thinking about abroad, either mm. England or France. I don't know why this has come up within the last three weeks. And that opportunity will be there. Now, I'm going to say something to you. Um, there are countries okay. that have certain regions that are becoming very depopulated. I know there's a there are areas in Greece, areas in Italy, even Switzerland, where they yep. are willing to pay you to Ooh. move there. Like in Greece, there's an area that will give you like a house, land, and so much a month for the first couple, like three years. And but it's an it's an area where there are only like 50 people and they're trying to repopulate it. Um so there are other countries that are if, well. if you can do well in the wilderness. Yeah, if you can work remotely or if you can relocate, <clears throat> they're willing to 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 pay, to do this for you in other countries because there are these areas that are um <clears throat> excuse me, not very populated. Now what I'm going to say to you is if you decide to relocate within the US, you're going to go someplace outside of where you currently are the state you're currently in, I feel like you will do a whole state relocation, possibly, you know, you have the right to change that. But you may also go abroad. Now, both of the areas that you mentioned are very good areas, either one will work for you. And I do feel like that if you get to one of those areas, you're going to be very, very satisfied. Your next move is going to be oh like a liberating move everything that that you've been like on your back is going to fall off when yeah. you go and you're going to be so happy you're going to be so happy and wherever you go next the cost of living is going to be so minimal okay i wow. hope that helps wow i have cats am i taking my cats because i have a lot of cats i you're, I you're gonna take them. some uh, you're going to take some of them. I know you are going to take some of them. I can't guarantee all of them, but I know you're going to take some of them. Okay, love? Thank you so much. You are, uh, this was amazing. I didn't expect this in a million years. Thank you so much, Tony. You have a lovely day because I know there's other people waiting and I appreciate you very much. Have a lovely, lovely day and thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. And you too. And I love you too. And you just, you know what? Uh, start looking around, start looking at all the options, and then figure out which one feels the best to you. Okay, sweetie? Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Thank you.
Love you. Love you too, love. Um, bye. I'm you're bye bye for now. I'm gonna go to the first uh, question on what I think is the first question. And listen, if I um if I miss your question, please don't be upset or offended. The chat is very long, and I'm gonna try to get to the um. To all of the questions, and if you need to repost your question, please don't feel badly about reposting your question. Okay, I do want to say I know that Amy May asked for a song today, and Amy May, I'm going to tap specifically into your energy and give you a song. Um, and the song that. Okay, and this song is coming from Okay. Okay, there's uh this song that's coming through and uh, there's um two people and uh, for some reason the song is not as clear as i'd like it to be like i'm not hearing the words of the song yet but i think it's because they might have a message um okay i'm the one you want i'm the one you need come on baby take a chance on me is the song coming through and i'm sorry yes i know i cannot sing please don't come at me with it Please don't post that publicly. Everybody knows I can't sing. Um, so that song, and I'm, yes, I'm off out of tune and offbeat on that also, but I think you know the song, Amy, and I hope that helps you. And then I'm going to go to, hey, Heather, I'm good. Modi, boom, boom. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll, Heather says, Colin's heart rate has been crazy lately. Again, so waiting on cardiologists to see what we are going to do next. Okay, well, we will be praying for him to to have a good to um, for everything to be okay. I thought I saw a question on here from Sally. Uh, may I receive a reading? Thank you. Oh, nice. Okay, um, I wanted to connect with my grandma on the on my mother's side. Sally, what's your grandma? Uh, oh, here it is. Her name is Madelise. Okay. Okay. Um, I see somebody with olive skin or a little bit. She's not white, pale, white. She's definitely, she was either tan or olive with a dark, darker hair at one point in her life. And this person that I'm seeing was thinner, at least towards the end of her life, she was thinner. And the message that I'm getting for you is um, it's actually coming through in a song. It, the, 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 the first thing I hear is that song, Take a Chance on Me. Da -na 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 Take a Chance on Me. I think that's Blondie. I don't know. And then the next thing that she wants to say is take a chance on yourself. Go and, you know, uh, uh, make that move, take that chance and uh, go for it. Just don't put like, don't put your life on hold for other people or other things. Uh, get the ball and run with it. It's basically the message that I'm getting for you, Sally, from your, from your grandmother. And I, I hope that's helpful. And I hope it makes sense to you. Please let me know if that's helpful and it makes sense to you. And that's on, to, um, it, it uh, take a chance on me. And she's trying to, I'm trying, they're trying to get me the first, the next verse to that. Um, but it's not important because you, I think you know what they're referring to. Okay. Uh, oh, it's Abba. Man, I love Abba. Man, you guys, don't you love Abba? Oh, yes. Uh, Ah, uh, Sally says she was Car Car Carib Indian. That's why her skin was a little tan. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So many good songs from Ava, you guys. So many good songs from Blondie too. But yeah, Ava. 
Um, a Danadu, Ava Danadu Sal says, okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 516. 516, what's your name? Hi, Tony, it's Kavita. Hey, Kavita, how are you today? I am good. I'm open actually to any message, love or travel or whatever you get. Okay, the first thing I hear is get out. Um, I see a boat, like a sailboat. I don't think you can be on a sailboat right now, but I do feel like you're going to be someplace where there is a lot of boats. Oh, I think I know. I've seen this place in a vision before, but not not for you, love. Uh, it's like an area that has all, it's, it's, it's like an area that has all these boats, all these boats um docked in it and it's very well, going to Port Portugal in May. Okay. Oh, well that that might be it. I feel like when while you're there, if you can, they're saying uh, um like I don't know if this term makes sense to you, but it's sail the ocean blue. I don't know if that's literal or figurative, but like if you can get out and get on a boat, get on a boat now. I personally wouldn't be on a sailboat. Personally, it just seems like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. I just don't. I just don't. I'm like, we're on a boat. Put a motor. Get a steering wheel. Let's let's enjoy this. Um, any, anyway, that's not everybody feels that way. I respect your feelings. They're just not mine. Um I do feel like if while you're there, you should spend time at the shore and be on the water, in the water, if you can. And I do feel like I need to tell you there is more vacationing coming in. Um, and then I hear again, sail the ocean blue, which doesn't literally mean sail. It just means get get out there. Go, go, go. Uh, sail the ocean blue, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, and just um, live your life. Live it. Live it. Don't exist in it. Don't repeat it. Live it. Get out there and go. Okay, love? Okay, great. Sounds wonderful. Thank oh. you. And, you know, Portugal is surrounded by water. Like, my first stop is Lisbon, which is surrounded by water. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Well, I think you're going to be spending, I don't know. We'll see. When you when you get back, I want to know details about the water boating, sailing part of that. Okay? Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. You are welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, everybody, so much for listening. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it, and until uh, the next show, thank you.